Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day full of only positive vibes. A lot of people have been asking me on stream, Hey, man, what is your top five guns? Hey, man, what is your top five gun? Hey, man, what is your top five gun? Matter of fact, a lot of people have actually made that video already, but I want to give you guys my own input on the top five gun. However, Quick disclaimer, we have reduced it to basically not having uh, shotguns as well as snipers. It's basically going to be only ARs and SMG as well as LMG. Uh, spoilers, there is no LMGs. I know it's pretty big. I know it might shock you guys, but don't want to keep you guys here too much longer. Let's go ahead and go to our top five. Number five might come to a shock to a lot of you guys, but it is going to be the Peacekeeper to be specific. It is going to be with the rapid fire barrel. I know there's been a lot of talks about this gun being not as good as people thought it would be however i think with this specific build it is definitely a top five maybe not the specific build but with the rapid fire barrel now in a meta where it is filled yes filled with three tap guns what's the best way to beat three tap guns by using a faster three tap gun in the rapid fire barrel gun with the peacekeeper this is the loadout that we went with we have the rapid fire barrel like we talked about the aim assist laser the field agent foregrip the double stat mag and the firm grip tape this for me is the best one it has very manageable recoil the only downside is the range but you can still beam people from medium to close range so this is the reason i'm using it i absolutely love it I can actually destroy ASM-10s as well as DRHs close to range. Again, the main downside is that it has such terrible, terrible long-range recoil and damage that you will lose fights to those guns almost 99% of the time unless they potato a lot. But that is going to be our number five gun. All right, number four will be the Man of War. And if you can get the Cardinal skin, it will improve the Man of War substantially. There is a bit of controversy with the Man of War, especially in the recent update. It actually got buffed. We weren't sure if it got buffed or nerfed, but Path confirmed that it did get buffed. It has a faster ADS speed now, so you scope in a lot faster. I believe it's almost like a 10% buff. I think it went from like 350 to 300, which is absolutely insane. Makes it really, really manageable. The biggest downside prior to this buff was the ADS speed was super slow the mobility was super slow but with this buff and with this build you can actually dominate people as you guys can see there's a few attachments I recommend on this or you must have and some of them you can change out 30 mag you must have the ADS or the granulated you must have the also the tactical laser you must have as well as the barrel you can switch out the last attachment, which is Strike Stock. I use the Strike Stock because I want to get a little bit of horizontal recoil as well as the ADS spread and the flinch to not have much downside. But I've seen people actually switch this out for either the Combat Stock, if you want faster ADS speed to make this more close range, or even switch out the for the what's it called the RTC huge suppressor giving you a very good damage range as well as vertical recoil control, losing out on the ADS speed, but ultimately it really depends on what playstyle you want to use there is a lot of advantage on this gun it does have manageable recoil the ADS spread accuracy becomes very manageable it becomes really bad if you go f like no ADS spread accuracy but it does laser and it's actually one of the best if not the best when it comes to long range three tap guns in number three it will be the only SMG you will see on this list. The QXR is the most versatile SMG in the game and also the best SMG. It's like if the MSMC combined with the RUS and had a baby and made this. It has good close, medium, and long range damage. Not only that, when you build it right, the build I have right here does not have much lateral recoil. I can beam people from a mile away, still laser people, especially with the enhanced bolt. Increasing its rate of fire makes this gun very viable if you don't use the enhanced bolt it's gonna be absolute poop so you have to have enhanced bolt anything else you can switch out but personally speaking i use the enhanced bolt with the tactical laser as well the no stock the marks and barrel and the light muzzle brake this gun's weak side is that it doesn't win fights again it's not great at anything but it's good at everything so it's like we say the jack of all trades master of none i think that's the saying i'm not exactly sure is that how the saying goes but the jack of all trades master of none but it does it's just so versatile you can win so many fights but that is going to be our number three number one and number two are going to be super duper close but number two is going to be the drh it is the best when it comes to time to kill of any of the three 
tap guns except for the m16 m16 is absolutely trash it shoots faster than the other three tap guns it has a great recoil pattern the ads spread accuracy is pretty bad and also you have to have a otm attachments which makes it kind of unlucky but i feel like most of these three tap guns you have to have a magazine anyway but this is a fantastic gun the downside is there's a potential you do not three taps because if you hit the hands and you miss out like potentially on the chest you will no longer three tap but it is very very versatile it does good damage and the accuracy is super manageable and this is the attachment that we went with i feel like recommendation wise you have to go with the otm attachment you have to go with the granulated you have to go with the no stock and the laser sight the owc ranger is what i've been using however you can switch it out if you want to the marksman or the light or even if you want i've actually seen a path use the tactical foregrip but this is the build that i personally enjoy i like increasing the range by a little bit and hopefully you guys will enjoy this build as well and that's going to be our number two all right before we get to our number one which i'm sure you guys can predict i want to give a few honorable mention of some guns that were just short of making the top five but it didn't fit to my personal favorites as well as the recent nerfs to these guns or one of these guns made it right outside of the top five we're gonna start off with the chopper the chopper got a little nerf which made it not as good as before the only thing that really changes is the recoil control which makes it a lot harder to laser from long range the close range is still gonna beam which is ridiculous the lk which is a great gun good overall overall gun i guess we would like to say but still loses out to these three tap guns as well as the bk57 i know path is like i like the bk better than the peacekeeper but i love the peacekeeper so that is going to be some honorable mentions finally our number one gun for season 13 is gonna be none other than the asm 10 i'm sure you guys predicted this you guys probably got laser from this gun basically getting two tapped by this gun or you two tapped yourself or it felt that way the asm 10 is absolutely a crazy and must use gun this season not only does this gun have great range it has one of the fastest time to kill in the game. It's a three tap. The recoil is super manageable. The ADS spread actually is really fantastic. And it even got a nerf recently. The nerf probably didn't do much. Honestly, the magazine. I, honestly, it's a lot of like attachment nerfs that you probably wouldn't even use. As you guys can see, if you build this to be a very fast ADS build, you can absolutely beam. You guys can see I am using a no stock light barrel. We're also using the tactical laser and the stippled grip or stippled grip to make the fastest ADS speed. And then we added the tactical foregrip just to give a little bit of ADS spread accuracy this build is absolutely beams you laser people it is great and by far the best gun this season i was using it i, I hate using this gun because it just feels so wrong it's just so good it, you just you just shoot people and they're already dead it's just such a great gun and we kind of expected this with the nerf to the hvk we kind of knew that this was gonna be the top gun but we did not expect it to this extent will it get nerfed we don't know should it get nerfed probably but overall that is going to be our top five guns for season 13. all right to give you guys a little quick recap our number fifth best gun of the season is the peacekeeper we have the number fourth best gun the man of war number three was qxr number two was the drh and finally number one was the asm 10. yes those are the five guns you should try to use this season if you want to try to rank up super easily all right that's it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did like share and subscribe don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think do you guys agree with my list and if you don't let me know in the comments down below what is your top five we can have a little discussion and see what most people have been using but i'm pretty sure the asm 10 and drh is going to be the top one and two but let me know in the comments down below all right i'll see you guys next time kill it